Well, I was I played Oz kick at Beverly Hills Junior Footy Club right from uh, the get go. I think I was about four when I started. Um, and then I remember my first game out at Zebrish Reserve, our home ground, against Surrey Park, and um, got the win by about 60 points or something like that. So. Uh, yeah, it's good to come away with the win and a yeah, good start to my career in the YJFL. It's Will Phillips, the boy from Beverly Hills. Right from oh, I mean, yeah, it was like a home to me. My dad played there, um, so I came in with, you know, a bit of history at the club. Um, there's a lot of great people around that club. Um, I think the president was Anthony Phillips from um, when I was there at the start and then it moved to Jim Payos, who are both um, great people and Anthony Phillips has become a great mentor of mine. So. Um, it also gave me an opportunity to grow and develop my football um, as well as develop myself as a person. But recovery at ground level is pretty good. You know, they, there were a lot of great coaches um, that were involved in those pathways and yeah, really, really grateful for all their support and what they've given to me in my football. Um, I think my first memory of repping the um, teal and black was probably with Joey Mischek in the under 14s or 13s, I can't remember. but. Um, yeah, there was, it was the first real time that we had exposure to structures and proper, you know, structures and um, game plan strategies. Um, so, gave me a taste for what that was like. Couldn't bring that mark to Grant. Phillips just tries to barge his way through. I don't think I lost the grand final for the YJFL, so, um, yeah, I had some really good teammates and a great coaching staff and who really helped me to grow and um, brought some team success to the YJFL. Good handle on the footy there. Quick hands to Will Phillips. Beverly Hills. The coaching was, was really cool. Um, they, it's, a, it's a pretty high level of footy and um, the YJFL is known as one of the best leagues. So um, yeah, for me it was surrounding myself with great people, um, great players and who come together from all different clubs um, and playing against you know, some of the other best leagues around, the, um, around Melbourne. Here's Phillips popping one inside the forward fifth. There's a, there's a high level of professionalism required to to represent the YJFL because it's such a strong competition. So, um, yeah, yeah, couldn't couldn't speak any more highly of that. Phillips, contested work by him there. I always had that self belief, um, you know, that I'm good enough to, to match it with the best, and, and they were the best for me last year. They're the best for my development too. So, um, yeah, I try not to compare myself to people too often. Um, I always try and focus on what what I need to do to get better, um, as opposed to what. What, what, how I can model myself on someone else. Back in the middle of the ground, Phillips is the beast, the Beverly Hills boy. It was it was very challenging, especially when um, when lockdown emerged. Um, those couple of days after lockdown um, came into play, and then and then it happened again. Um, were really challenging because it sort of finalised the, the shutdown of the season. Um, but I managed to keep myself pretty hungry and um, pretty motivated throughout that time. Um, footy's my whole life, so. Um, my passion for the game didn't really differ um, in those times. I only probably trained harder and needed to probably just take a bit more ownership of my footy. Um, that's exactly what I did. I, I set structures in place for myself. Uh, I made sure I developed some really good habits so that I could um, stay on top of my work ethic and, and what I needed to do to um, stick to the process and get better. So um, hopefully that holds me in good step for come draft time. But um, you know, I'm not, not expecting to come in and dominate um, you know, first day of pre-season because I haven't played a game in so long. So, um, but yeah, confident I can get that back to the level where I want to. Kevin up to Phillips. But because it's all coming real, you know, it's a big lifestyle change. You click your fingers and you might be going on a plane. So, um, a few nerves, but mainly just excited. And I just, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed the process, but really I'm just looking forward to getting started. And I just can't wait to get into training because that's when it all starts, that's when the hard work really starts. I mean, I've, I've got here, but yeah, it's hard to stay in the system that it is to get there. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that.